shorts out in the snow? Yeah, I love the cold. <laughs> I take a lot of cold showers and walk outside in the cold with not minute, much clothes on. So, yeah. That's right. This most pressing mustache and headband, what went into that look? Um, I found a headband on the ground in practice, like in the locker room yesterday, and I just put it on. And I was like, I'm going to wear this for the game. <laughs> How was that? You have no idea who it belonged to, or no? And it wasn't. It didn't smell bad. It was like brand new. So I was just like, I'm aware of this. <laughs> After a career, how are you gonna wear it again? Are you gonna keep it on now? Where are you gonna? We'll see. I, I just I've been changing the hair and the, everything, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. What did this feel like for you, Matt, to put in 26 in a game? The shots just weren't falling collectively to kind of be that steadying force and get a road win there. Felt good. Um, just it's really easy to get looks like that when coach keeps running plays for you. So. Um, my teammates and coach, I mean, they just kept running plays for me, so it was easy to get some good looks. After they went on the run, later in the second half, I know Brad calls a timeout. What were you guys able to do to kind of get composed and be able to adjust and respond with your own and kind of take the game away? Um, for me personally, it's just like, it's just up to the individual to just like stay locked in. Like I was just trying to, I kind of like tune a lot of things out. I just, there's a big crowd, coaches yelling, all that stuff. I just try to like lock in and just focus on the little, the little things that I do, which is like rebounding and, and trying to get good looks. So, they just ask you you're going, you just say, give me the ball. Is it that simple? Yeah, I just, I just tell coach, uh, I want this play, and then we run that play. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Is that nice to have that within the offense, to have that back and forth with Brad that you can say, I want this, and he trusts you enough to run it out there? Yeah, it's good that we have like a, a few plays that we can go to for each person whenever they're hot. And, um, me and Terrence or uh, Jaden do that a lot where it's just like we just made a few and it's just like just keep running this. So, yeah. When you see Paul have a game like he had tonight, it wasn't just about the points. He's leading the team out there and playing great defense. Mm -hmm. How much confidence is that giving you and him moving forward leading this yeah. team? I mean, there's a reason he's on so many mock drafts. Uh, I mean, he's a very um, well-respected player across this conference. He does so many things for us that, that don't always show up on the stat sheet. And uh, I think he's one of the best defenders in the league. Um, personally, I think me and him do such a great job of like uh, just helping, uh, like when other players make mistakes, just cleaning it up, like blocking shots and uh, doing stuff like that. So um, I'm, it's it's great having him. Like I, I got completely, uh, I fell on one of them, and Coleman just blocked the shot at the rim for me. That would have been a layup. So he's always cleaning up mistakes for me and the other guys. How big was Dane in the first half? Just keeping you guys afloat. Where's his confidence level, maybe from the start of the year? How, how big, how much has it been? Yeah, I mean, we, we just know we can always rely on him. Like, when we get him the ball in the right spots, he can go either way. Um, and to be, this isn't even a shot at him, but, like, when he gets there, he's extremely aggressive scoring-wise, not necessarily kicking out. So we know that we should start crashing. And so uh, it's good offense for us because he's uh, extremely efficient, and me and Coleman just start to try to crash and get those rebounds. Matt, your other meeting, again, you saw Wisconsin once before when you were at Bailey at 17, a big game tonight. Is there anything they do, like is there any, I don't want to say flaw in their system, but with the way they go about things that you see an opportunity that fits your skill set to have a game like that? I don't know. I really don't know what it is. Uh, they, they definitely like, uh, I don't want to say that actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You guys have won 6 or 7 now. How much is this feeling like the team thought this would be? Yeah, I uh, just think we had some slip up. Like, like I said, like Coach Underwood changed the whole system for everything that we're doing. Um, I think uh, like the losses that we had. Like, I hate that I did this in the media, but I kind of like talked about some things I wasn't happy with. But um, I, I could see it coming, and Coach Underwood did such a great job of responding and changing everything for us so that we could get back on track. Maybe you didn't know it, but the blue jerseys were not the most successful operation here. That's what I heard. Yeah. Feel good to get one and zero in those. Or? Yeah. I'm I'm very not superstitious, so um, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. Now that's not your pregame, you know, warm up just today. It just seemed like you were more focused on rebounding and trying to keep your eyes yeah. focused that way. Did you know that was going to be key today, and just what, that was what you wanted to focus on, or was there um, is there something? I just I just want to start focusing on getting more offensive rebounds specifically. I only got one today, but um, that's something that I'm trying to work on that I know is going to help our team. So, yeah. The first half shots just was tough for both sides. Like, did you see like you took a few shots in that half, got a couple going? Did you just see a, a spot that you thought maybe you could lift the team out of that 
kind of cold shooting start? Yeah, I mean, I'm just always trying to be aggressive on offense. Um, and like I said, I'm focusing on offensive rebounding. So when uh, they're shooting, I'm trying to get the offensive rebound. I, that's really my only mentality when I'm playing the game. It's really simple. Like, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just like, you know, there's a lot of noise. I, I just offensive rebound when I don't shoot it. And when I shoot it, just, I mean, I try to shoot a lot of threes. That's what I do. So, yeah. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks.